Start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. Hello! This week we began our study of the Doctrine and Covenants. These are the revelations given to Joseph Smith Jr. that helped him with the reorganization of the church. Just like these revelations were the building block and helped him with the reorganization, a music staff and the notes are the building blocks for music. This is a music staff. It lets us know not only what note to sing, a C, a D, or any other note, but also what pitch to sing it in, a middle C or a high C. The lines on the staff let us know the note and the pitch. The higher up on the lines, the higher the pitch. The lower on the lines, the lower the pitch. The top section has this swirly symbol called a treble clef. It represents the notes in the higher pitches. The bottom section has this backward C called a bass clef. It represents the notes in the lower pitches. The measure is a line that helps us group notes together. Once we have reached our count, the group is complete and we start creating another group of notes. This is a time signature and tells us about the beats and groups. The top number represents the total number of beats we have in each measure or group. The bottom number tells us which notes get a count of one, which notes get a count that's more than one, like two or four, and which notes get a count less than one. This is a whole note. We count this note until we reach the number on the bottom of the time signature, in this case, four. There's only one whole note per measure. This is a half note. We count this note until we reach half of the number in the bottom of the time signature. In this case, we count the half note for a count of two. Just like fractions in math, it takes two half notes to make a whole note. So we can have two half notes in one measure. The half note can have the tail pointing up or pointing down. This is a quarter note. We count this note until we reach one quarter of the number in the bottom of the time signature, in this case, one. Again, just like fractions in math, it takes four quarter notes to make a whole note, so we can have four quarter notes in one measure. Like the half note, the tail of the quarter note can be pointed up or pointed down. This is an eighth note. We count this note until we reach one eighth of the number in the bottom of the time signature. In this case, half, usually designated by the word and. Like fractions, it takes eight eighth notes to make a whole note. So we can have eight notes in one measure. That's how it got its name. Like the other notes with tails, the tail can be pointed up or pointed down. But unlike the others, the eighth note can be joined with other eighth notes and have a line connecting them. We can use chocolate bars to help us remember how long to hold the notes. A whole note gets a full count and can be remembered by the candy bar Twix. A half note gets a count of two. We count to two twice and can be remembered by the candy bar Kit Kat. Or quarter note gets a count of four. This can be remembered by the candy bar Snickers. An eighth note gets a count of half and is designated by the number followed by the word and. We count to four and. The timing of the notes can be remembered by the candy bar Butterfinger. You can combine notes together to make different rhythms. An example of this is the candy bar Baby Ruth which combines eighth notes and quarter notes. Perhaps chocolate just isn't your thing, which is fine. We can also use Marvel characters to help us remember how long to count a note. The whole note can be represented by the character Thor. The half note can be represented by the character The Hulk. The quarter note can be represented by the character 
Ant-Man. The eighth note can be represented by the character Captain Marvel. The mixing of notes, such as the eighth note and quarter note, can be represented by the character Iron Man. Now let's see how this relates to the song, Follow the Prophet. Adam was a prophet, first one that we know, in a place called Eden, he helped things to grow. Adam served the Lord by following his ways, we are his descendants in the latter days. Can you follow the notes to the rhythm? Don't worry about knowing what the height of the music staff means. Follow the prophet, follow the prophet, follow the prophet, don't go astray. Follow the prophet, follow the prophet, follow the prophet, he knows the way. Can you follow the notes to this song? There is a note at the beginning of the song that is the end of a measure. It gets counted as four. This curved line is called a tie. It means that you can count both notes together without making another sound. So for these notes, we hold the same sound for a count of three.